Hey guys, I'm back. I am working against uh, sun setting and everything, so I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. Some of you have asked what I do when it comes to dealing with rain and pushing around and all of that. So, I'm going to show you two different things. This is a regular umbrella and this is called a Versa umbrella. So, with a regular umbrella, you're kind of limited. So, when you have it open, you could either do this and try to push and it's kind of awkward and you're kind of you're just not as hands-free, you're not sitting upright, and so it's just kind of awkward. And then if you do like this, you're too short. You can't even sit up straight at all, and it's just awkward. And, and yes, it does work, but it's not great. Um, there are raincoats that also come with pants, but that's a whole other step, especially if you happen to have trouble getting dressed and things like that. So I don't like to use them. They're kind of uncomfortable. And I mean, who wants to just take it on and off all the time just for that? So we came across the Versa Brella and I'll open it here in just a second. But the really cool thing about this is first of all, we were able to buy a universal umbrella clamp that this part can tighten around the back bar of my chair. And I'll show it in just a minute. And then when you push this button, it goes this way and this way. And then this button, it goes this way. So you pretty much can do all angles. I will leave all of the information in the description below, but this is how it's basically gonna work. We've got this clamp right here, and that's gonna go right here, or wherever on the back. Let me just spin this. Okay, so if you have issues with dexterity or anything like that, this may be hard for you to, to set up by yourself. It is doable. Um, I did struggle as I was trying to get it positioned, but it will get the job done. So now that I have it attached, you want to make sure it's not going to hit you in the face <laughs> when you open it. So, as you can see, I'm hands-free now. Um, it will start to loosen up over time, so you'll want to probably be adjusting it every once in a while, tightening up the clamp down here, um, just so it doesn't um, fall. Um, so if you tend to push faster, you might have to adjust it more often. But that's one thing that I really liked about this, is that there is a lot of adjustability. I love the, the fact that you can angle like this and left and right as well. Um, this isn't a perfect system, but it is hands-free and um, it, it does work. I'm probably gonna keep working on this and see if there's anything else we can do to make this a little more stable because the clamp seems to be a little bit of an issue, but it's not that big of a deal. It does work, you just have to, kinda have to find the sweet spot on the clamp and tightening it up enough to where you can still maneuver it like you need to, but it doesn't just fall over because that's the one issue that I did run into with this. So one cool thing again about the Versabrella in, in particular is that it's asymmetrical. So um, you can spin it around without even messing with the clamps and you can see I have a little bit more coverage here. I could angle it this way if I wanted to as well. So some of it you don't have to push the button to maneuver it. It just it does kind of lock into position when you do use the button. I would suggest starting with the button and then you can kind of adjust it with your hand as you need to. That's probably how I will end up using it. But yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty good. Guys. It doesn't, I mean, it's not really going anywhere. Now, pushing up a hill may be a little trickier. I think one thing that would be better is if it had one more angle in it um, right here. It does sort of hit your shoulders, or at least sort of hits mine. So pushing up a hill may be a little bit of an issue with this, but I still think this is a good solution overall. Maybe seems a little silly, but at least you're covered and you don't have to worry about, you know, the rain suits and all of that. This is a pretty good solution. And like I said, the angling of this actually really helps a lot too. So. I like the solution. I am going to try this in real life uh, when it is actually raining, but I just wanted to show you all that this is an option. It seems to be a really good one. Once you get it positioned, it's pretty good and it's pretty stable. It's just a matter of getting that clamp clamped down just right. So anyway, I hope that this helps. I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.